if you're like me, uh, you're hesitant to use custom transform inspectors because oftentimes all they really do is add a bunch of useless features and clutter up the inspector. Um, I've never liked it, so I decided to actually take my own stab at making a custom transform inspector. Um, so for this, uh, I really wanted to put an emphasis on no clutter and no features that you're never going to use. So only only a few simple additions that are just going to be nice, but aren't going to aren't going to hurt your eyes or uh, push your components down a bunch, take up a bunch of space. So uh, let's see. You open it up, you look at the transform. It looks almost exactly the same. The only change you can initially see is these reset icons, these reset buttons, and they do what you think. They they reset the position, um, and rotation, and scale. So uh, there is some extra functionality hidden in the context menu. I figured um, it would probably be better to put uh, buttons here for the most part um, that you aren't going to be using all the time. Like you're not always going to be setting random rotation. You're not always going to be snapping to the ground. That's not something you're going to be consistently using. So might as well put it in the context menu. If you need it, it's there. If not, you don't see it. Um, so I can set random rotation and snap it to the ground. Very cool. Um, and I'm going to select this guy, reset the position, hit rotation. Uh, so what else is there? There's actually only one more thing, and that is I have made it so you can change the scale on all axes at once. And I think the way I did it is pretty clever. You can actually now mouse over the scale text and scroll here as if the scale was a float and it changes all the axes. It can have a non-uniform scale. Uh, that works fine. You can go negative. Uh, so I think that's pretty cool. This this is the bare bones functionality uh, that I I think is okay to add to the default inspector. Um, beyond this functionality, uh, one note if you're worried, uh, the rotation GUI, um, you may be, if you've tried to do your own rotation property uh, in like a custom editor, you'll know it's a massive headache to uh, handle the conversion between quaternions and Euler rotations. You always end up changing one axis and then another axis changes. Um, I've actually completely mirrored Unity's default rotation uh, editor. This is literally the exact same code. Um, so no worries here. You can change the uh, axis order uh, in like, I think that's something you can do in the animation window. That all works fine. It's it's literally a carbon copy. Works great. So just wanted to clear that up. This works fine. Um, so yeah, it's just three or four really simple features. Uh, you can reset each of the parts of the transform. Uh, you can do multi axis scaling, I guess is the name of it. And then you can set a random rotation and snap to the ground. Very cool. Uh, that's all.